Hey there, are you feeling super stuck and frustrated because you are trying to build your own website? Hi, I'm Kirsten, I'm a Squarespace website creation coach and this is my YouTube channel and this is the very first video and I'm so excited. And today we are going to talk about the pricing, the new pricing that Squarespace introduced on the 1st of December 2017. So I want to tell you all about that and also if you want to join my free Facebook community of Squarespace newbies, new entrepreneurs like-minded Squarespace users and um, that are new to Squarespace obviously that's why it's called Squarespace newbies uh, join me click the link below but now let's get to it Squarespace and its new pricing and plans Matthew's email. Matthew is a guy from the Squarespace Circle member. He works with Squarespace. So he sent us an email just to tell us in short what are the changes in just one overview. And here, for example, the legacy plan, you can Google the term legacy plan. If you have signed up before the 30th of November, nothing will change for you. You have a plan for life. Your grandfather in at the prices, at the at the features, you will always have those features. If you sign up after the 30th of November, stroke 1st of December, you will not have some features on the personal plan, but you will have them all on the business plan. So don't worry about it. Um, when you Google the term Squarespace legacy plan, you will find this and just click into it and then just uh, see what plan you are on. And also again, it doesn't really, if you have signed up before the 30th of November, this doesn't really affect you. But uh, there are some changes that um, do affect you. You still have the MailChimp on your personal plan and you still have the coding and the customization on your personal plan. So that's why I wanted to show this one also to new members. But if you are already a member with Squarespace or you have a plan already, this will help you as well. New plan overview. Just very click quickly, you used to have only 20 pages on the personal plan. Now you will have unlimited pages even on the personal plan. However, you will not have be, you will not be able to sell products on your personal plan. You will have to upgrade to do that, which um, is a bit of a bummer, but there is a work around it. And I will show you. Next, so you won't be able to customize and code on the personal plan. You can do that on the business plan and also the announcement bar is not available on the personal plan. So I'm going to show you more in the next slide, but I wanted to say something here. I always pay annually because it saves me so much in the long run. If you pay annually, you pay $25 a month. If you pay on a monthly basis, it's 35. The same with the personal plan. If you pay annually, you pay $16 a month. If you pay on a monthly basis, it's 22. So you are saving a bit of money. But for more info and FAQs, you can go to squarespace.com pricing and there will be a lot of more um, information for you and frequently asked questions will be answered. Some things haven't changed. For example, in this case here in the editing view, these are all the blocks that you can still use with the old and the new plans, um, personal or business. It doesn't matter. Other things did change. For example, in the new trial here, the personal plan after the 1st of December, if you sign up there, you cannot use the product feature, unfortunately. Um, the commercial payment processes are premium features. So the product feature is absolutely amazing and it's really worth upgrading for. But again, there is a workaround until you're ready to upgrade. You, um, you can link your product image button directly to PayPal or use PayPal me stroke your name, which you can easily set up with, an, with any PayPal account. And I want to show you what that looks like very quickly. See, if you go to PayPal me and you have set up a PayPal account and you would put in your name, actually, I'm going to show this to you here, create your PayPal me link. And then you can paypal.me stroke your name. So you put your name in here, grab the link. In my case, this would look like this. Let me just show you. So just stroke my name, Kerstin Begley. 
and then see what happens. This is your page. People can enter any amount they want and click next and pay you. You can also choose any currency you like here. Or if you already want them to want there to be a preset price, let's put, let's say $197, you can do that too. Just put the price here, the number. This is your link. Copy and paste the link into your email or wherever. And that's it. So that's how easy it can be. That is just a quick workaround for when you do want to go on a personal plan. Okay, paypal.me. So make sure to check that out. It's quite easy to use. And then also here in just one overview, in short, the blocks you lose uh, with a personal plan after the 1st of December are, should be, not is, the code, the menu. So this is the coding where you put in the code injection into your website. I will show that to you. Actually, I might show that to you now. I might as well. So here, see how you can have a code injection. You go into design or custom CSS. You can have your custom codes here. You won't be able to do that with a personal plan or you can also have your pages here and you go into a editing mode. For example, you click into edit and here is where you can add a code inside here, which you won't be able to do with the personal plan either. And that's it. So what was the other one? Advanced. And there you go are your code injections. Again, header and footer. And again, you won't be able to use that on the personal plan either, but you will on the business plan. And again, if you signed up before the 30th of November, then of course you've got all that. So you're all good. Okay, once you upgrade to a business plan, it is $108 extra if you pay annually. If you pay monthly, it would be $156 extra. So once you upgrade, you'll get all the features, including all product selling features. I should be doing it from here. It looks better. Um, e-commerce payment processes. So that's Stripe and PayPal and credit card features. So which is amazing. Actually, I want to show you what that looks like because I had it set up here. Let's say you have a shop and then people can click. So you set that up as a shop page, which I will show you later. And then it will look like this and people can buy from here. If they buy here, for example, you would put an email address in here. Let's say my email, if I can spell it. And I won't subscribe, but you click continue. I'm not gonna put anything, but click continue again. And here, see how you have credit card option and PayPal option, which is really, really amazing. And um, the, your customers will get a confirmation, a purchase confirmation via email straight away. And you can't, you know, you can't, it looks so professional. And it's all automatic. And it's all linked in with your MailChimp account, with your MailChimp email list. Um, and you can't do that with the personal plan, but again, you can with a business plan and you know, it's just worth upgrading. But if you have already set it up or uh, have your trial account before the 1st of December, you got this, you got all this. So the style editor stays exactly the same and there are no changes, um, which is just as well, because it's uh, what you work with the most when you um, customize your website with your colors and your writing style and your fonts. So you still got all the freedom to style it all up and design it the way you want to your heart's content. Okay, that was what's new with Squarespace. Now, MailChimp Squarespace integration is now limited to a business plan, again, after the 1st of December, in, which means you'll have to upgrade. But there is a way around it. So when you registered for this webinar, you used a direct MailChimp URL. That's what it's going to look like with the workaround. So I think it's a great workaround. It's just easy to do. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. So if you choose the personal plan after the 1st of December, you won't be able to, able to integrate MailChimp with Squarespace. Direct MailChimp link is the workaround. Um, 
But if you upgrade to business, you can integrate it with your website. And what that's going to look like is like this. Hang on a second. See how I have, how I, I, I have a freebie page here. So this is integrated with Squarespace, with MailChimp, so people can directly sign up from my page. They don't have to go into my uh, MailChimp URL. And they don't have to go into the direct MailChimp URL, which would have been this one that I showed you earlier. So this is the one that you signed up with. I'm just gonna copy it to show you. But again, it looks just as, as fine, just as professional. Okay, and the link where that is, in this is where you signed up, and the link where that is, is right here. See, and you can design that sign up form. You go into your list, and then you go into sign up form. And you can design it here by clicking here. You can click here to change. You can click here to edit, and then you just type away. And you can also, let's go into this here, the background in this case is the button, it's orange. The button hovered, I did this, but the body I wanted to show you, which I made all white. But I can also just make it black, obviously, obviously that, that's not gonna work. But any color you want. See, and then it goes black. Obviously, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But also, the default text Hang on, the page, there, that's the background I wanted to show you. Let's say I made that blue. See, I had that before with my, with my own blue, but I prefer it in white because it just looks cleaner and easier to just handle. That was it for my first video. I hope you found it useful and uh, I hope you're going to get in there. Just try it out, figure it out, play with it. It's the only way of learning. Okay, if you want to have more or if you want to see or watch more of those little clips and videos and get a bit of support, join my free Facebook community of new entrepreneurs and Squarespace newbies. I would love to have you click the link below or click the link uh, or the button below, whichever, wherever it is on this screen i'm gonna still have to figure it out because i'm new to youtube and let's do it join us we would love to have you